So I wanted to address an experience that I've been having, which is uh, I've noticed that when people talk to me about getting a tarot reading, their experience of what tarot is before they come see me is uh, different than what they have when they're in front of me. And so uh, several things are happening. One, everybody has an idea of what tarot is because uh, we're either exposed to it through TV, media, social media. Um, we, it, it, it's expressed itself in some way in movies. Usually some scary person who's telling you that you're going to die or someone's going to die. <laughs> some ill-fated thing comes out in tarot. Uh, if you're watching tarot readers on social media, they're telling you what you need to know for your day or what the what your sign needs to know. I even do that in, in a newsletter. Here's what, but I, I do it a little specifically. Anyway, the... I, the, the readers that you see online are giving you insight into your day uh, based on the card they pulled for you. And the experience that we have with that is very passive. And we take in that there is something detrimental that could happen. We take in that if we don't do what the tarot reader says, then we're going to have a bad day. We take in that um, the tarot reader said, this is the way things are going to happen. And in every case, the person who is listening to the tarot reader or observing the tarot reader is losing their autonomy. <clears throat> They're giving away their ability to do what's best for them. They're uh, releasing the awareness that they have about who they are and how they move through the world and giving that over as a, a power and energy to the tarot reader or the idea of the tarot reader. So here's the, here's the difference uh, when people come to my table, at the, which is what they might be coming with if they haven't worked with me before, and what happens after. So the, the way that I work and what's important to me when I work with someone with tarot is we're going to explore whatever is most important to you, whether that is struggling to find the relationship, whether that is the challenges you're having in the relationship, whether that is the journey that you're on professionally or personally, <clears throat> whatever the experience is that you'd like to have more information on, it's an exploration. But it's an exploration of your experience, of your journey, of the truth that is you. And if you give that to me, and it's no longer yours, then you've lost the autonomy you have in your life. You, you, you um, throw away the power that you have in achieving that which you want most. So the, the reading happens and the way, the, word, the way I speak happens in a way that's about you and the experience that you're going through, and what, if we're talking about a future state, what something might look like if you make a choice, A or B, uh, what, the, what it might feel like when you get there, what you want most and how to achieve it. There's a lot of um, homework that happens <laughs> when a reading is done with me because we explore all these things, and then you, you reach a point where you go, oh, that's what I want or that's not what I want. And if I, in either case, now you need to get there and I ain't gonna be the one to get you there. <laughs> well, in a way, uh, I'm not gonna take the action. I'm not gonna do the steps. When you step away from my table, if you don't change based on what you've heard, either things stay the same or they move in the direction in which you want them to go uh, because now you have new information, but it's new information about you your desires, your feelings, your thoughts, the way you're communicating, all the things that move you through the world that can have more or less friction are altered should you choose. That empowers you, that gives you the autonomy to be the best version of yourself, to bring the truest version of yourself to every situation in order to achieve what you want. So the, the idea of a tarot reader being someone who is... Um, giving you fate or giving you destiny 
or experiencing uh, that you will experience something you never want to hear is not the type of experience that happens with me as a reader. And I say that deliberately because every reader is different. I may or may not be the right, the right reader for you because you are going to have homework. You are going to e explore something from your point of view, not someone else's. Um, you are going to experience something that is about the truth of who you are and you may or may not want to face that. And it, when it comes to you, then it's your option. It's your choice. It's your opportunity. So uh, the work that happens with me is accountability, is insight, is opportunity, is desire, is accessibility. Um, all of these things happen in a moment. When you leave, then it's up to you. I can still help you be accountable. I'm great at that. <laughs> I can still help you readjust uh, when you've made a choice or are thinking about making another one, which is why people come back. They may come back um, in a week, a month, in a quarter, in a year. Uh, depends on how fast they're moving. Some people need more time. A week may be too quick. Uh, a month may be perfect, especially if you've got a goal in mind and you're headed towards it. So when you're, when you're thinking about getting a tarot reading, keep in mind who the reader is. Keep in mind the goal that you want to achieve. And come with an open mind and an opportunity to say, I'm going to take charge of where I'm headed. I'm going to take control of my life, even in the vast amount of of non-control that exists, uh, you can at least have a point of view, a direction, and a strategy, and tarot can help you get there and help refine it. All right. I think that's all I got to say on that. I just needed to address that this, this theme was happening.